Hey, what's up? Richard here. In today's video, we're going to have some fun exploring shadows in Canva. I'll show you all the different ways there is to add drop shadows. I'll share some of my favorite techniques and so much more. Now, let's get started. For this video, I already have a small project made and I know I want to add a drop shadow to the product to make it feel a little bit more grounded, almost like it's laying on top of the background. But before I do that, there are some key points I want to consider that will help me create a more convincing drop shadow. Depending on your light source, your shadow should mimic where it would be in real life. In my case, the light looks like it's coming from the right side of my mock-up. So naturally, the shadow should be on the opposite side. Now with that in mind, we can start adding our drop shadow. The most common and fastest way of adding a drop shadow is to select your object and come to Edit, Effects, and Add Shadows. From here, we have some options to change the drop shadow style. At the top, we have our basic or default options, which is what most people use. Now, if you select one of the drop shadow options, you'll have the ability to change the blur amount, the distance, the color, and intensity. If I select the default drop shadow and change the parameters, you can see that I've added some depth to my object, but it's still not quite looking right. So let me show you how I go about changing that in my designs. Now, I know I want my light source to cast a nice long shadow to my left. So to achieve that look, I'm going to have to find some pre-made elements that will fit the look and feel I'm going for. So I'll come to my toolbar and select on elements, and then I'll search for shadows. Then I'll select see all. Now at this point, it's just a matter of seeing what options are available that match the look I want. This option looks like it will work great, so I'll just select it and add it to my project. I'll then adjust the size and rotation by selecting any of the four handles. I'll get it into place, and next I'll move it to the background by coming to the top toolbar and selecting position. Then I'll select the layer and click and drag it below the product image. And that looks great. So here's my next key point for better shadows in Canva. And that is to change the shadow color to match the background color. Have a look at these examples. If you look at the shadows being produced, you'll notice the light bouncing around and reflecting the background. So in other words, if your background is a light orange, your shadow should be a darker variation of that background color. But you might be asking yourself, how the heck do I change an element if it doesn't show me the option to change the color? The answer would be to change that element into a duotone. Simply select the element and go to Edit, Duotone, and select any of the options as we will be changing the color anyway. I'll select this one and click on Highlights. I'll then sample the color of my background with the eyedropper tool and then click and drag the selector until I have a darker color that I like. For the shadows, I'll select the same color I just picked for the highlights. Now things are starting to look a bit more believable. But wait, if you look at the examples again, you'll notice the shadows have a darker area right where the object meets the surface. So I'll repeat the same process we just completed, but this time with a different shadow element. So again, I'll come to Elements, search Shadows, and select the option that works. I'll then adjust the size and rotation and change the color to a duotone. I'll sample the background color again, but this time I'll pick a darker purple and adjust the opacity if I think the color I picked is a little bit too dark. And now you can see the additional shadow just gives it a little bit more believability and realism. And if you compare the default shadow and our custom one, the difference is night and day. So keep that in mind next time you add a drop shadow to your project.